I wanted to talk to you about the thing that's made the biggest impact on me with my creative process. And, you know, I've been doing illustration professionally for 32, 35 years, somewhere in there. And it's not what I did in my spare time. And something changed for me probably 10 years ago, maybe a little longer. I started doing artwork for fun. And as I started doing that, my engagement, my joy of doing it started increasing. I was no longer seeing it as my job. I was just seeing it as an exploration. So the thing that's made the biggest difference is doing daily artwork or most every day. You know, we, stuff comes up and we all get distracted and life happens. But most every day I started doing artwork. I came across this idea that, you know, even if we only show up for 10 minutes, engaging in the process, you know, we're not, we don't have to be in the mood. We don't have to have an idea. We don't even have to know what we're gonna work with. You know, we, maybe we've just got a pencil and piece of paper. There are no parameters to this. Your creative process may include writing it may be working with clay or dancing, whatever it is. The act of showing up to allow, to invite, to move forward with what's happening in the moment is the part that has made the biggest difference. It has opened a doorway to something that I didn't know was there. On some level, I thought I, it was there, but I was too busy doing something else that I didn't show up until I felt some sort of inspiration. I didn't even listen to that most of the time. So when I did start creating every day, I didn't put a lot of pressure on myself. Maybe 10 minutes was the goal. If there was a goal, it was just show up and do something. Even if I just draw a circle and put some ears on it and call it a cat, which is quite often what I do. Something happens in the process of starting in. It unfolds like a mystery. I have no sense most of the time what's gonna happen. I'm there and I start working and it's like it has a life of its own. It's so much fun when that happens. We lose our sense of self-consciousness and worrying about what people think. We're just in the flow of seeing where that line is gonna take us or where that paintbrush stroke is gonna go or where that sentence is gonna go. Or what happens when I show up this video camera and, and things start coming out of my mouth. There's never a plan here either. Usually if I have a plan, it gets blown apart very quickly. And the process of talking into this camera takes on a life of its own. So the creative process is like that. It's amazingly unpredictable, but completely reliable. It will show up when you show up. There is a part that happens that says, I'll go with it. Yeah, I hear all these voices saying otherwise, and I just keep going. And then the thoughts that I'm not good enough, or this is, I don't know what I'm doing, or what's the point of this. I, I don't even have to have a point. I could just do it because it's in front of me and I'm doing it. So that is really the biggest thing I wanted to share. This daily creation, just be curious every day, 10 minutes, even five minutes of just seeing what might happen. And you can throw it out after you make it if you want. I don't advise that because sometimes it's fun to see how the process unfolds over time. And then before too long or even in the moment, the first day you try it, things start happening that you would have never been able to predict beforehand. And to me, that's the excitement of the creative process. When I keep coming back and doing my thing, it's amazing how I allow whatever it is to start coming through. I never could have guessed that it would have gone the way it went. And that is really fascinating to me. Even when it goes the way of, I don't like this, it's still fascinating. So that's my big suggestion. Give it a try. Give yourself a, you know, try it for a couple weeks. Just show up for 10 minutes. I don't know if you've ever read the book Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. That book was amazing to me. It spoke to me on a deep level, and it had to do with catching the inspiration as it goes by. It's so much bigger than us, this inspiration. We are here to share what comes through us, and it uses everything we've got, all the skills we've learned in our lives. It uses all our experiences and unfolds with you, your unique voice. Even if you don't know what that is, it is coming through you. It's allowing that voice to come forward and to reflect back at you while you're working this amazing thing that's, that's happening. I'm gonna go and do my 
daily sketchbook. I'll go ahead and tape it, add it on here. See you soon. Here's Riley, and here's Tucker. Ooh. Much to her chagrin, she doesn't like to share the limelight with Tucker. And in case you didn't know, these two, these, this one, and that one, siblings. She's had enough. I did look at Pinterest and saw some succulents. Of course, I threw in a cat, because it is what I love to do, and some birds are always a good ad. I didn't know, though, where those scissors were gonna take me when I started cutting out those shapes. And I just kind of let it happen. Whatever was coming was fine. It's so fun just to see what'll come. Sometimes we think of something, sometimes we don't. But you know, even if you put out some marks on a page, it's the movement, it's the process, it's the act of engaging that brings forth that creative energy that starts to move. I think that's all I've got for now. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon.